Welcome to my channel. My name is Manuel and in this video I'm going to show you a very simple technique how to color grade your S-Log3 footage or any other log footage from any other camera in DaVinci Resolve with a very simple note tree. Here's a little overview of what we're actually doing in this tutorial. We're taking a camera color space like S-Log3 or any other log footage and transform it into our working color space, which is the Da Vinci White Gamut. And then later on, we transform it again in the most common display color space, which is Rec. 709. So your TV, your phone, most displays use this color space. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that in a very simple note tree. DaVinci Resolve is really an amazing software and is actually free to download. I put a link down in the description where you can find it if you haven't installed it on your computer yet. For those of you who already have DaVinci Resolve, we open up DaVinci and I go into my Edit tab. And before we even start off, we need to check our color settings in the project. And for that, you go in the right hand corner on this little wheel here, you press on it and check the color management tab here. And if your color science is not set to DaVinci YRGB, please set it on DaVinci YRGB. Your timeline color space is Rec. 709 and the output color space is the same. I already imported some nice clips from my travels in South Africa. This is all shot on Sony cameras. So this is S-Log3 footage. I already put some clips here in the timeline. And as you can see, they look very flat, almost no saturation, no contrast, and that is the thing we want to change. And for that, we go on the color tab, and on the right-hand corner, you should see a note. If you can't see it, you press the note button up here, and then this note thing should be flapped out. We need two color space transforms, so we need three nodes. So we click right-click on the node and say, add node add serial and we click another time add node add serial you can also just do that by clicking option s which also adds a serial and now we have actually our node tree here and every node is a step in our grading process and to give you a better overview i'm gonna label these nodes and the first node is basically where we take our s log three footage and convert it into our working color space which is the da vinci white gamut okay and to do that we need a color space transform and this is something you find here in the effects tab which is up here um, you can search for it here scroll for here but you can also just press on the search button and then type in color color space transform then it pops up here you can just pull it onto the node and then this nice window pops open where we set our input color space and our output color space so we know we have s-log3 footage so we choose the input color space to sony s gamma 3 cine and the input gamma to sony s-log3 if you have other log footage, if it's a Canon C-Log, a DJI log, please just use your log footage here. And then the output color space, which is the same for everybody. It is always the Da Vinci white gamut and the gamma is Da Vinci intermediate. So, which means this node here, which is our grading node. This is where we actually do the grading. This is our Da Vinci white gamut, our grading or working color space. All right, maybe this is a bit long, so I just name it working color space. All the grading will happen on this node. I actually suggest that you add a node for every adjustment you do, but in this tutorial, we want to keep it simple. so. We just have three nodes and all the grading will happen in this node. We need another node which gets fed by this one. So we need another color space transform. And since this node is feeding this node, our input color space here is now DaVinci white gamut 
and the gamma is Da Vinci Intermediate. And now the output color space is our display color space. So we need to choose Rec 709 and the gamma is gamma 2.4. We label this note so everybody can see what's happening here. This is the Da Vinci white gamma and we transform it into Rec 709, which is our display color space. And now we can see this looks already so much better. There's much more contrast compared to this shot here. There's much more saturation and much more depth. So this is basically the starting point for our color grading, which will happen all on this node. And now you might say, okay, Manuel, this is a nice process, but it's so complicated and takes me so long time. Do I need to do these steps for every clip? No, of course not. There's a shortcut to grade all of the rest of your clips now. You could just go on your color tab. You, if you don't have it flapped out, you go on clips here, then you can see all your clips in the timeline. And then we can see this one is already, um, has already this note tree on. And now we can just save a still, it's called grab still, and then it gets saved here. Then we can basically apply this note tree to any other clip. We just click on the next one, pull it onto the timeline, pull it on it, and then you can see the same note tree applies to the next clip. You can also just choose more and then say apply grade and then the grading will be applied to all of the clips you choose. And here's another tip to save you lots of time. You can also export this still and this note tree and save it. So I suggest you store all of your note trees in an archive, which I do, and I can just pull it in and then work with that note tree from that on, which saved me so much time. Basically all of your settings get stored, all of your notes, everything. If you found this video helpful, please leave me a like or consider subscribing. I hope I see you in the next video where I show my personal note tree, which I use to color grade all of my projects. And I hope you have a good one. See you, bye bye.